Oasis right here. Sleeping over Oasis. Bye bye room. You've been good to us. Yo, the day has finally come. We are leaving Mexico City after 11 days in the same hostel. It must be a record for the length of time that we stayed. What was good though is that we didn't have to like pack or unpack. In the time that we did here in Asia, we could have done four or five different places. So that was nice to not be kind of carrying these things around the whole time. Yeah, we're getting some breakfast now. Our bus is in what I, what are we now, Sarah? They're about an hour. Yeah, our bus is in about an hour and I think it's gonna take about four hours. So we're gonna watch the Grand Prix, I think, if we have the Wi-Fi. This is our room. It's a private room. Look at this roof. Oh, wow. It's kind of hard to get across on video. It's really cool. quiet day all around, but a successful day. We made it to San Miguel de la Linde. We got some pizza there in the equivalent of <laughs> like a Tesco's, so very classy. We're not gonna do much else, I think. I think we're just gonna chill out for the night and explore the place tomorrow. So, I'll see you then. Right where she belongs. Yeah, in the kitchen. In Mexico, no. No, Sarah, I was gonna say in the kitchen. Good morning, welcome to day one of San Miguel de Allende. First thoughts are that this place is really, really quiet, really, really chilled. I don't think we're gonna be going on like mad sessions here, which is probably fine because we did enough of that in Mexico City. The plan today is to literally just go out, get the bus into town and explore. Apparently there's not that much to do here apart from just walk around and take in the site. So that's what we plan to do.
So we just retreated from the streets there and came into a place to get kind of like brunchy late breakfast, some nice coffee and kind of figure out what we're going to do for the rest of the day. Our Wi-Fi situation, our service situation isn't great so we're following this self-guided tour but it's kind of in and out of coverage so we're, we're not really sure where we're going so we're also going to figure out what we're at here I think. Definitely my favourite non-Mexican food that I've had so far. We've downloaded our maps and our tours now, so we're going to go out and do the second half of the tour. I just want to give this place a little bit of a shout out because the food was lovely. It's called La Sacrista. It's written right there behind me, La Sacrista. We just had a, a quick drink there in one of Sarah's favorite restaurants ever called Mamma Mia. We're gonna go up now and have a look at a viewpoint which is supposed to have lovely views of the town. <laughs> that was a steep, steep climb. We're at the top now so we do have a lovely view. Check this out. Camera not doing amazing justice to the view, but it is lovely. So we're gonna attempt something that we haven't done before on this trip. It's only been 12, 12 days, but we're gonna cook, so we're gonna go to the supermarket uh, that we ate last night. We're gonna get a few bits uh, to cook, I think some, a very easy pasta, I believe. To be honest, Sarah will probably be doing the majority of the cooking. If they have all the ingredients. If they have all the ingredients, which I'm sure they, it's, oh, it's huge. Ooh, there's actually a lovely view of the cathedral from here, hold on. And because I don't have a zoom lens, that's as close as we get. Shopping bot. Good Scott. So this is what we're working with. Dining al fresco. How is it? Muy bueno. This is a, a little chill out area at the back of the hostel. There's the kitchen. And then that's our room up there. And that ends our first full day in San Miguel de Linde. See you tomorrow. Next vlog uploading. 32 minutes. Yeah. What are you cooking up? Just gonna do like some sort of pasta with this pesto sauce. Got some parmesan from yesterday. Bit of broccoli, bit of pepper. So I'm just gonna give a little tour of the shared area in the hostel. That's the stairs up to the room, reception some dorms and then the kitchen's in there and then this is out to a little chilled area Jeez. it's the dog all right that's strange no it's like he's heaving Can you spot the butterfly? We are leaving a little bit later today because we cooked in, saved a bit of money, and we're gonna walk into town now. I think we're gonna stop at an Irish bar called McCarthy's, see what that's like, 
and then we might check out this uh, Luna's Tapas place. It's on, like, supposed to be on a really cool like rooftop, but it could be a little bit out of budget, so we need to check it out and see. I thought that was Morris singing Kylie Minogue there for a second. So we had a few drinks there in McCarthy's Irish Bar. Nice spot. Yeah, interesting clientele. We had a couple of people that come near us there that were a bit like maybe on the dodgy side. Yeah. We're going to head now to that uh, tapas place, which I think is just down here around the corner. Hasta luego. So I think we're gonna get food now at some place cheaper, hopefully. leaving that really really cool pub where we had lots of games we're heading back to our hostel now tomorrow we head to Guadalajara so this is the end of the vlog I'll see you in the next one <laughs>